Robert Boulin, the French minister, was suicided in a lake. For any insider knowing enough what happened, being a visitor's card of a sacrifice to the widow, also called Isis, with the water standing for Isis. Then one should look around to find the obelisk, or, and, the octagon, to find the place where he was actually murdered. And yes, both, and even more, are right next to the lake, or Etang d'Olande. Yeah, not far away is the obelisk, symbol of death and also for power, as on many cemeteries and official state offices, also symbolizing Osiris, where Robert Boulin had died probably after having been severely tortured at the octagon right next to the lake, or the other way around maybe, to which I come back later. And we have here on the map the triangle of Isis, Horus and Seth in a certain way, but not officially, as Seth is the mind behind Osiris obelisk and octagon closely related to the Horus matrix. So the triangle is being formed by uh, Isis for the water, the obelisk and the octagon. And here's the castle of Rambouillet. The octagon table was the hunting table of Louis XVI, who together with his wife got decapitated under the guillotine during the French Revolution, instigated by the Freemasons and their New World Order, meaning the end of the feudal Old World Order in France. So, for those who understand, this octagon table symbolizes blood, death, Nazi Templars and the death of the monarchy. So I have no doubt that the minister got first beaten at the obelisk, then fatally waterboarded on the octagon table, giving the message away who did it, and then thrown into the lake upside down from how he was waterboarded. And therefore, the water being in the wrong place in his lungs, namely at the back of his lungs, when he died, when lying with his back on the table, on the octagon table, and not face down in the lake, in the position in which he was found. Waterboarding dates from the Middle Ages and was also done by the Nazis, as by the Nazi Templars from Octagon, Switzerland. You can read it, it says Swissy, Swissy, it says in an old text, Swissy in French, meaning Swissy. And the reason that so many people from both sides were involved covering the case up, that it concerns the internal pharaonic war between the New World Order and the Old World Order, because of which we owe, in fact, the two world wars and the third coming up, and they don't want us to know this. The murder happened in the forest of La Rambouillet near Paris, the traditional hunting grounds of the French kings of the Old World Order and their castle Chateau de Rambouillet, which is now being used for French G7 meetings of the New World Order, where Obama slept, Mandela, Sarkozy, well, the whole bunch of those pharaohs. And the first international G6 summit was held there in 1975, as you can see here, and organized by Giscard d'Estaing, of course. So here you can see the, uh, here's Giscard d'Estaing, I think. And here you can see the pharaonic sun hieroglyph in a castle, of course. They're always in castles. They're all pharaohs in the pharaonic palace. And even I slept there once, a very long time ago. So here you can see, this is from the castle. You see all the octagons here and here and in the ceiling. It's full of octagons, just like the table where the minister got killed and waterboarded. And here you can see the uh, red and white, the original checkerboard of the Freemasons, uh, symbolizing Upper and Lower Egypt of the Red House and the White House, the Per Tasse and the Per Het. See my other film about it. By the way, you have to watch all my older videos to understand this all. 
So on the traditional grounds of the old world order, the symbolic sacrifice was done and leading to the entire takeover of the new world order in France once again. As President Valéry Giscard d'Estaing slowly was making it clear that the old world order wasn't entirely gone yet by shortly after his election of 1974, having in 1976 their pharaoh ancestor, Ramses the Great, being received in Paris with full military honors. Together with the fact that Giscard d'Estaing was a descendant of both French King Louis XV and Charlemagne Carl the Great, and his wife, the daughter of a count and granddaughter of a princess. So, with all this, the New World Order and the Masons understood that Robert Boulin could not become president or prime minister for the Old World Order principle and had to go with an occult message to it and executed by the notorious octagon of the Nazi Templars from Switzerland on the octagon table in the forest of Rambouillet. So therefore the next president of France two years later in 1981 was not Robert Boulin but a hardcore Nazi in disguise of a socialist for the next 14 years until 1995, enabling millions of Muslims to settle in France for Octagon's Albert Pike Nazi agenda, only made possible in disguise of a socialist government issuing humanitarian standards. And I'll show you the links and proofs at the end of the video. The name of that president was François Mitterrand, a Nazi who worked for Vichy and the Nazis who every year put flowers on the grave of Hitler's man in France, Marshal, Maréchal Pétain, who is behind the Rwanda genocide, ordered the Greenpeace Rainbow Warrior bombing, and one scandal after the other during François Mitterrand's presidency. The Freemason Mitterrand built the Paris Pyramid of Le Louvre, and Giscard d'Estaing was a Knight of Malta. Robert Boulin stayed a Freemason for only two years before leaving the club, which is of course a very dangerous and possibly lethal thing to do. Uh, so here you can read about uh, uh, Marshal Pétain and uh, François Mitterrand during the, uh, the Second World War about the some of the scandals. So I hear some more about the genocide of uh, Rwanda, the bombing of the Rainbow Warrior. Well, it's, it's killing, it's murder, genocide uh, without end by this Nazi in a uh, socialist uh, disguise. Well, here's some more about Mitterrand. He uh, helped the Nazis in the New York Times. And this is one of the many reasons uh, Robert Boulin he had to die. Because they wanted this man in place. So here you can read some more in Wikipedia about Mitterrand and his uh, Nazi habits. So a good man like uh, Robert uh, Boulin, he had to die. So he didn't become president, he would have become the president, or at least the prime minister of France. So this animal here could get, become the, uh, the ruler of France. That's why Robert Boulin, one of the reasons he had to die. So here's some interesting information about Chateau de Rambouillet, where they, um, in, the, in the Rambouillet forest, just next to it, where they murdered uh, Robert Boulin. So, um, you, uh, very interesting information to read, and it's all connected to the murder, of course. It's the aristocracy, the new world order, and the old world order. Well, that's what it's all about. So, you can't understand this murder if you don't look at the history, and you have to look like a thousand years back and watch my videos. So, here you can read uh, in Wikipedia about uh, Giscard d'Estaing. 
that he's a descendant of uh, Louis the Fifteenth of France and of Charlemagne. From from even his wife is is from a princess. Everything, well, it's all here. Well, all these politicians, so all pharaohs, they're all aristocrats. They never left. Just watch my film *Pharistocracy*, and you understand. Well, you see, even David Icke he has a coat of arms, and it says here Icke, early origins. The variations of the surname Icke include Hicks, Hickers, Hick, Hicks, Hicks. Well, wasn't that Bill Hicks and supposedly Alex Jones? So they all are. You know, that's why they never have any problems. Well, I have problems, but these guys never have any problems. You know, just as Lenin said, you know, the best way to control the opposition is take control over it. The controlled opposition.